Howdy folks, how are you this morning? Um, had a subscriber ask me a question the other day. He said, like the shirt the way it was, because this is the merch I've got for sale um, on my community, on my wall, on my YouTube platform that you can go to and find the link to where you can order one of these if you'd like. If you're overseas, you must order two to cover the cost of shipping because it costs $26 to ship overseas. So if you're overseas, keep that in mind when you go to order one. And in the notes, please put your side or, you know, it'll send me an email if you want to email me that too. If you missed that part to where you need to put your size in the notes, that way I know, um, you know, you can do that. Or I can reach out to you once I get the confirmation email if you order one. But anyways... He wanted this, you know, the sleeves cut off and stuff. Asked me if I could, and I said, of course I can. So we're gonna do that real quick, and I'll show you how I do it. Uh, used to use scissors, but then I got this fancy thing from, uh, you know, one of the stores here. It's got this nice little, this little knife that just rolls right through the stuff. So, we've got the shirt here. Basically, what I'm gonna do is fold it in half, and then I'm going to lay it down, and since this side goes out farther, that's going to be the side that I use to cut the shirt because everything else, the letters and whatnot, are okay. So let's put this the other way. Yeah, wait, I know which way to go. Put that all evened up there, even Steven. That way we are good to go. Get that nice and flat. Our knife pulled back here. And there you go. That just pulls off like that. And we've got the shirt cut perfectly. So this is going to get sent out right now to Bobby Wayne because he's the one who ordered the shirt and asked for it like that. So Bobby, your shirt's going out. It's Monday morning. Um, shouldn't be too long before you get it. I'll stuff it in the old package here. This is what it will be coming in. So I'll just stuff it right in there and send it out to him. So now he's got some merch coming to him. So appreciate that. Probably grab a picture from the truck real quick. That way I can stuff it in there too and send to them. So if you're interested in something like that, that's all you got to do is go to my community, click that link, put your order in, let me know what size you want in the comments. If not, I'll communicate with you that way I know. So hopefully you enjoy. And Bobby, you enjoy your shirt. Thanks for your purchase. Really appreciate it. So until the next time, you know what we say. We will see you. Don't be him, folks. He's up here washing his truck using the uh, nice window wipers they provide for you to clean your windshields with to clean off his bumper and spraying a hose all over his truck, washing it like it's fucking truck wash. No, this is the fuel. You know, it's where you get fuel. You don't clean your shit like that, man. Take yourself somewhere else. The kind of stuff drives me crazy. So this dude's clogging up this fuel island back here to wash his truck. Not only that, but he's spraying water all over the place. He's soaking wet too. He might as well get to just take a shower there, throw some soap on his hair and clean his pits up. So yeah, that's the kind of stuff that drives me crazy, especially for people that are actually trying to get fuel and be in a hurry. So now he's out there washing his legs down and stuff. Freaking idiot. So that kind of stuff that just uh, drives me nuts. Don't be that guy, please. Please don't be that guy. Take your ass to a truck wash, uh, street and beacon, wherever you can go. There's a big red over here to Finley. Now he's coming over to my side where my fuel island was at and getting the hose out over there and using it. He kept on looking at me when I was over there and he probably knew better than to grab that because he kept on dipping the um, wiper in the, the bucket that was on my side and I just thought to myself, Use your other side, dude. I don't mind it, but don't come over where I'm at trying to get my stuff and fuel my truck up, get my shit all dirty because you want to give yourself a freaking bath. 
moron. Whatever, you'll have that though. But uh, yeah, don't be that guy. Don't be like that guy. Come on. Come on. You know the news, folks. Oh, it's about 83. Feels like 88. 17 mile per hour wind. I'm not sure if I'll jack this cab up and do much today to it. Uh, been tinkering around the last couple days. Got this stuff ran on these ones back here. Oh, and he's still tightening up those lights and stuff like that. But I did climb under the cab. So I'm waiting on that starter from good old FedEx. Been in Perrysburg since Friday. And uh, hasn't moved. Tried to get the tracking number from the wife. Sorry, I'm just checking to see if I got any dirté on me because I was under the truck. Uh, replacing the ground. And I'm going to crank it over here. Oh, no. You didn't. No, you didn't. Hopefully that radio wasn't on for too long. But I took a ground off yesterday that I'll show you in a little bit. And maybe is that wind coming in here? But um, I figured maybe that was a problem. I had a guy comment, Finn Belden from Norway, about uh, why the lights wouldn't work on the back. And um, possible ground to the frame and or motor wasn't where it needed to be or could have been bad. So... We still got some battery let's try to crank this thing over because i just replaced the ground and once i get done and if it works or not we'll go out and look at it but i'd be amazed if it did work but yeah that starter's still in perrysburg so i'm gonna have to go get the tracking number from my wife and uh call them up and ask where my part is because i need it no no it just did a weird yeah so that wasn't it but I did replace the ground wire that needed it because, well, it needed it. That was weird. It's just, it's just nothing. And I had started to go out on the mower, the zero turn, about a month ago, sitting there mowing. Just did the first section because I got to cut like an outline around here. And I know this is probably boring, but um, anywho, to the point. I was doing the outline, had to do around the pool and stuff real quick, and then I moved and uh, turned it off, got back on it, went to start it back up, and it did the same kind of crunch noise. Yeah, that's the shirt. Crunch noise that, um, you know, this one kind of did, and I had taken it off, messed with it, put it back on, and it would do the same thing, like it would try to juice, but it just didn't have enough to go so there's it's probably locked up so i definitely need to figure out where my starter is and when it's coming besides the fact that it's sitting in perrysburg but amazon says it's going to be delivered by eight o'clock tonight but um fedex hasn't updated that so whatever gotta love good old fedex no nope, not really not really at all Door lock should be here, though. But anyways, here's this ground wire I was talking about. Oh yeah, and then we got a smaller subwoofer speaker wire going in right here that's taped up to this. And oddly enough, that was cut there and cut there, and then the dude just mashed them together and put electrical tape on. And this is how it was. And honestly, I seen this before, but I never changed it out because I thought to myself, well, if it works, it works. And uh. It worked but now that doesn't work but that is a new wire on there so i don't know man i guess we'll see what's going on i wonder if that uh because i had taken that wire off and when i was putting that ground back on it kind of sparked a couple times i wonder if that's what kicked the radio on curious about that but i guess who knows so hopefully we'll be getting that starter soon and i can do some stuff but yeah had to run to the store to get some more of this i got 10 foot i don't remember how much foot i had but I had enough to do both of those sides and run it down on the back, run it down, and then do that driver's side up where those lights are at. So that's all taken care of, but I needed more. So I got 20 foot today. So I guess we'll come back when we got some more updates. Well, folks, we've got a situation going on here. I uh, got a little critter in the passenger seat here. Not sure if he's sleeping or if he's dead. Uh, could have whacked him last night on the way home and he could have just flopped around and bounced down there and got stuck in the seat or his ass might just be passed out and uh, hanging out. I don't know, but I can put this glove on so I can grab him. Hopefully don't try to bite me or anything because it looks like he got some bangs. 
but uh, yeah, get in on that. A little bat there, a little brown bat. Look at fangs just sticking out. I don't know how close you can get to him, but yeah. Isn't that something? So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the passenger door. I guess you can come with me. I'm gonna open up the passenger door. I'm gonna slide up the side. I'm gonna snatch him with my hand. <laughs> And uh, probably just chuck him out. Because, I mean, if he's alive, hopefully he'll, uh, you know, take off in the yard or something. Don't even wallet in my pocket while we're doing this. So throw it up on the seat there. And uh, try to do this quick because I'm getting ready to head out for work. Because I need to make some money. Yeah, it's going to rain sometime today, it looks like. Get some Windex on my shit. Because it's all dirty from bugs and stuff. But so, yeah, I don't know if this is a fruit bat or what because it's brown. So, okay, it looks like the wind is making it move. I don't know. Let's just put the snatch on real quick and go wham. So, you know, it looks like he's dead. I see it moving. Poor little guy. He was a redhead too. I probably took him out yesterday when I was, uh, Coming home at night, just trying to eat some fruit. He got smoked and we got him. Yeah, he's just dead. He ain't moving. I think he's done. Done for. Yeah. Well, that's his ears, not his fangs. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll go stick him on Betty White and we'll see if he moves or not or if anything gets him. Let's find a safe spot for him. Oh, it's supposed to rain. We'll stick him in here. We stick him right in there and well if he disappears or comes back or if I see him there tomorrow yeah, he's not moving at all he must got smoked he must just lit him up on the way home poor guy either that or he's just passed out I don't know so I guess we'll see we will see always something always something around here windy too Howdy folks, uh, we're at an unmanned location where I come to get these uh, gray trailers they call coyotes sometime for a uh, different uh, broker whatever and obviously as you can see there's a shitload of them over here. Uh, right past yonder is a stone pile that I usually take pictures in front of uh, with the truck, you know what I'm saying, or the, the green truck I've taken a few for overdrive and stuff like that and just different things. But uh, got on this fresh one right here with this brand new paint job on it. So it's uh, interesting. And I'm going to pull two more of these because once I get over to Campbell's, I got two of these that are loaded with this blue on here. I uh, figured I'd see how it looks with this truck. So far, not too bad. But we'll show you something else because I thought this was a brand new trailer because it's got brand new door handles and all that stuff on it. So these are super nice. But it's got a uh, unit. 53.com up there this is waterborne paint bamboo floor up there so let's get your eyes on this in here because i don't know if anybody's seen a bamboo floor this thing is freaking beautiful look at this floor that's just gorgeous uh, i may have to get some bamboo floor for something to mine because i like the way that looks and this thing is brand freaking spanking new on the inside nice fresh paint job and uh that floor so that goes all the way back so that's pretty cool be able to hook up some new shit once in a while and not have to pull around the old raggedy stuff constantly because you know once in a while we like to look nice when we're doing our job usually we don't care but sometimes you know we can look a little bit presentable we will because that's what we want to do don't always want to be trashy but sometimes we are and that's just the way it is so whatever oh uh, yeah i don't mind the way this looks i can't wait until we get the frankenstein truck back out here and we start pulling some of those because those things look perfect running behind that truck and there's some brand spanking new gray ones out here that i'll be hooking up to and a brand new black chassis too like this one but uh they're shinier and cleaner than this crap so whatever that's what i'm talking about folks how you doing oh hump day just hanging out at the house just got done doing a few things to the truck 
I'm gonna put some pinstripe on there. Still need to trim this up right here. Miss miss that. But uh, that's all on. That's all on down the side. Up there. And I put some back here. I've never done that before. Put that air and up there. Not really noticeable, but oh well. Still uh still waiting on that starter. Haven't got any information, no update. Called them yesterday, did some biachin, but never got a call back or anything like they said they would. But I did get up in here and I I'll tighten down my subwoofer, cleaned up back here a little bit, still got some bags of stuff, and I installed that CV there. May need to uh get another mic that's got the big fancy silver cord that's not you know because that's where it had to go there was really no other choice or option for it because of uh the whole fan situation because before it was mounted there which was fine set it over there kept it far enough away didn't want to drill any other holes or anything like that so that's where it's at i tried to tune it up a little bit but uh you know I'm two miles away, three miles away from the interstate, so I doubt anybody's running with a CB anyways. Not interstate, but 24. I don't know if that's an interstate or not, or what they'd call that. But um, I tried to talk the wife into uh, getting in the blue truck and talking back and forth to me, but she wasn't having it. So that's what we got going on right now. Put these on, because those needed to go on there. Threw these back on. Stuck this guy over here. Two lights work. That one doesn't for some reason. Not sure what's going on with that. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be getting those door locks here pretty soon in that starter. Because, I mean, if I don't see some updates tomorrow on the starter, I'm probably going to start calling around to see who has one locally. If anybody else does. I mean, when I called the place right uptown, the international dealership, they didn't... Um, they didn't have any, and she said they were going to have to order some, but TRP is not too far away, over a couple towns over, so about 15-minute drive over there, maybe 25. Call them up and see if they can get me one, because when I look that starter up, they come up, so I'm going to have to see if they can get one, because I'm in need of that bad, because i uh kind of just a sitting duck right now, Basically, the only thing I can do is some touch-up paint and, um, you know, polish the chrome. But I'd rather be able to pull it forward and wash it. I don't really want to do it right here. I'd rather do it in the center of the drive. And, um, you know, because it needs washing, I won't be able to get around the back and stuff. Plus, I wouldn't mind trying to throw those other lights on. If not, they may have to wait. But uh, there's some other things I need to do to this. I have to move it, though. To be able to get in there and uh paint some of that crap up because well it's nasty looking and that needs washed better they didn't get a very good wash but um yeah that's what we're waiting on is that starter so that's kind of a pain in the butt but uh hopefully tomorrow i'll get an update on it and i'll know i was gonna put these on or at least swap that other one out but it didn't come with the line in the middle for some reason it's just big open and uh i kind of like this one better so i guess i'm running with the raggedy one and a new one unless i order another one and i still need to do the license plate bracket and uh those front mud flaps so probably need to run to the store and get something that i can put into here but oh this sucks there's only one hole right here so maybe Maybe this one won't get any. I don't know because I'm not really interested in drilling in that stuff because it's looking kind of thick. And this stuff can be a pain in the butt to drill into, but I guess we'll see. And uh, just doing some final touches, though, while I'm waiting because that's what's going on. So hopefully tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I did take this panel off. And there's no Sims out here like crazy eating me alive. And... Uh, yeah, so this is going to need touched up. It's a nice shiny white. I sanded it down. Well, I, I washed it up a little bit, wiped her down, and then I sanded on it just a little bit, and uh, I don't need painted up, so get that airbrush out one of these days and do around all these other rivets. That way they got some protection going on. So, you know what we say until next time? We will see ya.